Hi, Gemini's. This is your first of the month reading from June the 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good start to their month. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising. You could be in that energy as well. Um, also, just a reminder, these are general readings. Um, so if it doesn't resonate, then maybe make an intention. I'll try and connect next week. Um, and yeah, if not, just throw it away then. Take what resonates and throw away the rest. All right. Cards are just, you know, taking their time to talk for you today. I only take the cards if they're kind of dropped here. So, just see for Gemini, please, and thank you. For Gemini, please, and thank you. What is the overall theme for Gemini this week? It's so funny. So many of them have flopped over, but um, not a lot of them wanted to drop. But we finally got some. All right, here we go. Gemini, the main theme for the week seems to be past energy. Whatever it is, the situation in the past here, maybe we're dwelling on the past, maybe we're thinking about the past. Um, it could represent someone from the past coming back, rekindling something um, with someone from the past. But generally, it kind of, um, what I'm getting from this is we're over a past situation here. We're feeling victorious over it. So maybe there was a point in your life, a point in the past here where you were feeling pretty down and out, um, and now you're kind of feeling victorious over it, or you're just um, happy at the compliment or the accomplishments that you made. Um, feeling victorious over whatever past situation you were in, you are now feeling good uh, about it. It feels like it feels like you've kind of worked through whatever this energy was in the past. Now you're ready to keep on moving forward with your life. You might be entering a space where, um, might be enter entering a space where it kind of feels like there's a conflict that was kind of finished or over here. Um, there's this energy of, I don't know, for some of you, there might have been this relationship in the past with this fire sign. We have the Knight of Wands um, reversed, plus we have the Lover's card here. So you came up in your own reading, Gemini. But it kind of feels like maybe there's this lover here where it was really super, super passionate at first. Um, and, you know, like things were hot and heavy, good, amazing. And then it kind of just died out and then it kind of changed here. So you might be feeling, again, victorious over this situation. Victorious, maybe this person, you're kind of feeling ready over them and ready to explore maybe um, new things here um, because of that. Because whatever this was um, here, Gemini, you're feeling good about it now. So for me, it kind of feels like there might be this ex-lover um, or this past lover here. Um, could have been a full relationship whichever it was, kind of feels that you're kind of maybe moving on and kind of over it here. What else do we have for Gemini this week? You're manifesting some new things into your life. The magician kind of flopped this way and then it flopped over um, perfectly upright. So you're in this manifestation phase right now, which is amazing. I feel I feel good. Um, that's the energy I'm feeling right now. So again, we are, we are in your season. This is your season to shine, right? It's your birthday. You're probably feeling good. You're feeling excited about what the new year is, um, about kind of what you can kind of manifest here. Because we're in this manifestation mode right now, and I feel like we can kind of look at things really clearly. I'm feeling this kind of almost zest for life as well. Um, so we're kind of moving into this. You understand that you are the alchemist of your own life. If you want something, you can kind of manifest it here, which is really, really nice. There is some broken heart energy here though some pain and the hierophant interesting there is we're in this manifestation where we have there is this little bit of pain maybe this was pain from leaving whatever there was in the past behind here maybe it was some a taurus you might have been seeing a taurus as well because the hierophant uh, card came out here but whatever it was that whatever this pain that you're kind of leaving behind it seems like I don't know, I'm getting a few messages. I'm getting a few might have to do with the kind of a mentor energy or the way you were brought up. Um, let me see, what is this pain in this hierophant? Again, this might have been someone that you looked up to here. Someone, maybe they were a bit older, some mentor energy, or again, a Taurus here, because there's this pain of this um, heartbreak of this kind of 
um, past tense start not happening. So again, maybe this was this relationship there with the lovers that you thought there was just going to be this new passionate beginning and it just didn't work out that way. Mm -hmm. And so there's still a little bit of pain here. While you are feeling kind of good, you might get that residual pain, which is again, normal. Normal when you're going through good parts in life to have those moments where you're like, oh, this still kind of sucks. I kind of wish this worked out. But I kind of feel like you don't, you're not letting it phase you here. You're kind of letting it more open to spirit and you're letting it kind of be like, whatever is divinely guided to me will be for me. Um, is that energy I'm getting with this Gemini? What else do we got for Gemini? It's kind of going on in these two weeks. Yeah, maybe just back to the drawing board with this person. We're feeling... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we're just going back to the drawing board here. Like, uh, again, that was um, uh, maybe just being like, hey, that was maybe a little mistake. Not a mistake because I feel like you've grown um, and you learned from it. But it kind of generally feels like, hey, you're like, you, we, you know what? We did that. We tried it. It didn't really kind of work out here. Um, but now it seems like you might be having a social life. Again, you might be kind of focusing on your friends, your social circle, social circle a bit more this week, Gemini. Um, going out a bit. You might be kind of partying. You might be living it up. I mean, it's your birthday, you know. Enjoy that time of your life. Um, um, go out, socialize, have dinners, hang out with friends. I think you're kind of finding the fulfillment maybe through them and through that. Um, Again, that's why I get this feeling where this, whatever the situation was, you're feeling victorious over it. You're not letting it kind of affect you too, too much. There might be some um, energy of someone maybe watching you online. We have the Page of Swords um, reversed here, and that means someone really not kind of coming forward here, not really coming forward to, to talk to you in a way. Um, it seems like they might be kind of watching from afar and it's an unhappy family card. So maybe this is an ex. Uh, maybe it is someone that you've really, a friend or something that you've disconnected to um, a little bit here. There is this kind of disconnect and then kind of watching from afar. So maybe this is the person you even got out of a relationship with. There's some kind of um, a little bit of tension with whoever this person is that's kind of watching you online. Maybe they blocked you or they're watching you secretly. That could be it as well. Um, but it's followed by the Knight of Cups. So someone might be coming forward with an apology for you, um, whether that is uh, this person that you're dealing with in this situation. Um, maybe they'll kind of, <laughs> I'm just getting the sense here, they might even like slip it to you as like, oh, happy birthday. Also, oh, I'm sorry for what I did kind of energy, you know. Um, maybe this person kind of is seeing how good you're doing and kind of want to make, uh, want to make a bit of an amends. There's the Queen of Swords energy, which is some block communication energy. So maybe you're just not open to it. Maybe you're having a hard time kind of communicating what you're feeling or they're having kind of a hard time because the Queen of Swords um, is kind of cold energy. So maybe you might not be so welcoming of this invitation or this apology here. Again, you might be feeling, you know, on your shit and you're just like, yeah, yeah life's good. Like, I don't really care. I don't really need you to say anything or uh, apologize to me here. You're just doing you, you're doing your own, you're doing your own thing. So you might be kind of cold toward them. There might be so, some still that hurt feeling with this Queen of Swords energy, right? Might be still feeling like that while well, like, go fuck yourself energy. <laughs> it's true, Gemini, what can I say? You might be feeling that, okay? Uh, I think this is kind of fine, my love. Let's see what um, Gemini for career, what... Give me some stuff for career for the next two weeks. What's going on with kind of career stuff? What's going on with career for Gemini in these next two weeks? Justice reverse. You might feel like something in your career didn't go in the favor the way you wanted it, and you might feel that it's unjust here. Um, maybe you work in the courts or in general, um, whatever it is, whatever it is with kind of career wise the next two weeks, you might be feeling something didn't kind of turn in your favor. You feeling like a decision was unjust. Maybe someone got a promotion over you. Um, maybe something again, didn't go in your favor the way you wanted it to here. And you feel like it was kind of an unjust situation. Um, that could be popping up in your career as well. Um, kind of feels like someone um, in the career wise isn't maybe 
helping out or paying you enough or feeling like they're here to kind of I don't know, it feels like someone might be kind of holding back money in a sense. So whatever that kind of means for you career-wise, um, again, holding back a promotion that was promised. Um, maybe someone is kind of uh, at work wherever you're at right now. They could be holding those coins and like, I'm trying to... So that one might be withholding funds from you a little bit. For some of you, it feels like. It feels almost just like, where's my money? You know? Where it's at? Where, where's, where's my money? The next two weeks. What can, um, what can Gemini kind of do about this unjust situation? Don't let it affect your head. Death reverse, not walking away. Don't let it um, overtake you mentally, especially if this is a, a thing that's trying to, um, maybe someone not paying up or something that's feeling unjust. Don't let it really control your uh, mind, your anxiety, your stress level, um, overthinking it, right? Don't, don't kind of um, do that, just kind of, um, saying the death card reversed here don't um don't end it don't be like oh well i'll never get my money keep on it keep on it a little bit here um but just don't let it kind of control your head don't think about it so 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 much um in a way just kind of be like kind of be still persistent on it but just don't let it like cause you a lot of anxiety because you're not getting it you know don't go into that download spiral what else we got for gemini's this week their birthday, birthday month for Gemini's, please. Ooh. Getting a lot of like again celebration, a lot of going now, drinks, living on Gemini. I feel like you're feeling that Gemini energy um, these two weeks. You're like having fun again. Whoever it is, they're seeing that you're having fun and they want to come and say sorry. Like, that's good for you. And you won't even open the message. You're like, I'm not even up to talking to you right now. <sighs> you know those people that always come back, uh, especially when you're like, now, like, you're like, I'm doing good. I'm having my, I'm doing my jam. I'm having a good time. Why are you back now? Why now? That's what it kind of feels like. Why, why now? It's like my birthday tomorrow. Why now? You know? Kind of that's the energy I'm kind of feeling right now. <laughs> awesome. Toxic people don't take a day off. Okay, some self-worth um, problems here. Self-value, valuing ourselves and not trusting. Um, hold strong on our value of, of basically of what we see ourselves, how we see ourselves, um, that self-care, because it seems like the, there's some need of some self-care here, especially re um, evolving around trust. Um, whether that's trusting with the universe, um, maybe you having trust issues um, with a partner. Um, it just seems like there is this kind of devaluing of ourselves through trust, of not trusting something, a bit of, of suspicion. Um, whether this is like a situation where you're like trusting that things aren't for you or things are going to work out for you or valuing that you deserve right things to ha um, work out for you, whatever it is here that has to involve with that, that self-worth and that trust is just maybe also being like trust that things will work out for you. Um, trust that whatever it is, um, people will see your value maybe as well. That could be a thing as well in a sense of feeling like you're feeling valued or people can truly kind of see your value here. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Let's use this gold digger energy. Whoop. Maybe watch out for this earth sign. Um, Queen of Pentacles reversed could be Aries. I mean Aries, Virgo, Capricorns, um, Taurus. It seems like someone's maybe trying to be a little bit sneaky here, especially with like money too. This maybe this is the person we're talking about. This injustice is holding back money from you. Um, card because there's someone that's maybe being greedy with money or withholding money from you and that might be the same justice situation here maybe for some of you as well you're going through um maybe a divorce and you're finding out that like again
again. Someone's kind of being sneaky or money or it didn't go in your favor here. I don't know. There's this greedy energy and someone trying to like take some, some money or things from you. So whatever this is that you didn't kind of get here, I feel like this is wrapped around this. So maybe again, divorce settlement, child, uh, um, child benefit or, or things like that, right? Um, someone might be trying to hold hold off on you on that. So just just be clear on that. Be open to that. Kind of see that. Um, what can they kind of do about these people kind of being sneaky with their money? These Gemini's money. I want my money. I want my money, bitch. I'm just feeling. <laughs> I'm just feeling like a Gemini's and like that. You know, you're in that energy. You're in that like. Uh, Nothing, nothing is gonna come for me these two weeks. I'm gonna have a great couple weeks, you know? Hmm. Page of Pentacles reversed. What can they do though? Page of Pentacles reversed, yeah, they're saying in the sense that they're not having, not put, seeing the, um, not kind of seeing what was promised here, not seeing what the, kind of feels like, again, not seeing what this financial opportunity, maybe that didn't come through um, here or seeing that whatever it is that was promised was not kind of executed in the sense of these finances. What can, what can Gemini do though? Make a choice. Okay, so what they're saying kind of to get through this thing, make a choice, either making the choice um, with the person to, to, to break off from this person if you can, um, or in general, you might have to make a choice if the money is kind of worth it at this point. If you're like, want to continue this fight or if you want to continue kind of um, on the path you're on, they're just saying there might be a choice here where you either have to separate from this person or separate from this money in the sense of being like, hey, I might have to just let go of this so I don't have to kind of deal with it anymore. If you know what I'm saying. Maybe some of you, it's um, apartments or landlords as well, too. Maybe someone's trying to get more money out of you. I don't know. All right. Let's pull some oracle cards for you. For Gemini, please. All right. The Starseed Oracle first. We have the Seven Star Sisters. Should make a good children's book, to be honest. The Seven Star Sisters. Birthing creation, tapestry of life expression. These new creations that are, um, there are new creations that want to be born. Beauty that's yearning to be woven. New conscious that's longing to be breathed into life. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness. Do you bite in the weaving web of life? This card is the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder questions. What, um, what wants to be birthed through you? What new creations, and this is what we're talking about with the magician card here, right? Are whispering in your ear. What beauty are you being called to make? Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place. They occur when we find ourselves flowing in the rest of life. Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity, um, yet so many of us have forgotten how to create. Somewhere along the way, we have stopped seeing ourselves as artists, as creatives, as poets. Yet to be human is to be creative. Creativity is part of your true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a new creative project, such as a new business or a book. Perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or the way you cook. Regardless of, that also sounds like a book too. <laughs> book, cook. Regardless of the end result, uh, you're being called to express yourself through creativity, to surrender the, the creative projects that both scare and excite you, to find a way to weave beauty back into everyday life. For where there's creativity, uh, spirit and soul are present, and the world needs those uh, qualities more now than ever. What are creations are you being called to birth? And I think that's gonna be really important for this time right now when it is your birthday, um, to be like, what does my year look like I had? What do I wanna do with my year this had? Kind of manifest and visualize that. Uh, make a vision board for your birthday. What do I want out of my next year of life? You know, kind of get it out there, write it down, put it on paper, be creative. Um, really, you're in this manifestation energy, so um, the universe is on your side with it. Okay, you also got um, the angel of love reversed. In the reverse position, the angel of love could indicate a possible disconnect with matters of the heart. 
While this sometimes signifies divorce or separation, it also can imply an emotional rift between two people stay connected on that stay connected on superficial basis, yet at a deeper level can seem like um, can seem to be going their own ways. In the position, the angel can also refer to an old separation. If the longing remains alive in one person's heart, you can find yourself unable to let go. This loving angel is telling you that it's time to release any uh, toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting for you to free your heart and open your life to a fully present and honoring love that you have so rightly deserved. So look in the mirror and see the angel of uh, love there with you. Know that you are worthy of a tender emotion from yours and from others. Affirmation, I love and value myself without limitations or conditions. Tender, loving treatment comes to me in a wonderful, unexpected way. And I think maybe that's talking about some of the pain that we're kind of letting go here um, with this kind of heartbreak of whatever it was that kind of didn't work out for you in the past. All right, Gemini, I'm excited for you for this. Um, you know, have a good birthday month. <laughs>